What's up guys? Dash here and these are my tips to ace your blue jacket of the quarter or your junior sale of the quarter. Roll the intro! Without further ado, I'm pleased to announce our junior sale of the quarter, PS2 Downhill F Chicano. For outstanding professional achievement in the spirit performance of his duties while serving as overseas screening analyst, Navy Personal Command, Millington, Tennessee, from January 2019 to March 2019. The video you just saw is actually me winning the junior sale of the quarter for first four here in MPC. So what is Blue Jacket of the Quarter or BJOQ or Junior Sale of the Quarter, JSOQ? Well, BJOQ or JSOQ is similar to the employee of the month in the civilian world. But in the Navy, instead of doing it every month, we actually do it every quarter. So what are the difference between Blue Jacket of the Quarter and Junior Sailor of the Quarter? Blue Jacket of the Quarter are for all E3 and below qualified sailors. And then Junior Sailor of the Quarter are for E4 and E5 sailors. And whoever wins the Blue Jacket of the Quarter or Junior Sailor of the Quarter can compete to become the Junior Sailor of the Year or Blue Jacket of the Year. <coughs> and here are my tips to help you out ace your blue jacket of the quarter or your junior sale of the quarter first of all congratulations by being nominated by your shop to represent them for the blue jacket of the quarter or your junior sale of the quarter for your command so this video will actually help you out especially if you're brand new to the navy or you're brand new to your command or this is the first time you're up for board and you don't have a clue how to start. I will give you some tips and guides to how to uh, prepare for your board and how to ace it. So as soon as you find out that you've been selected for Blue Jacket of the Quarter or Junior Sailor of the Quarter, first thing you need to do is to ensure that your uniform is ready. But not just any uniform but more than likely your service dress uniform. Service dress blues or service dress whites depending on what time of the year. And here's another tip. Prepare your um, NSUs or your service uniform too because you never know what could happen. There might be a chance that they will tell you at the last minute, okay, um, we're no longer going to be doing dress uniforms so we're going to do um, service uniforms. You already know it, you already prepared it, so set it up. Okay. So you need to ensure that your ribbon rack is ready for the board so whenever you receive a NAM, a good conduct or any qualification that actually entitles you for a ribbon, make sure you have that updated in your ribbon rack before you jump into the board. So if they notice that you're missing one ribbon from that package that they submitted, that's already point deducted to you. So you need to make sure you're up to date with your ribbon rack. So the other thing I want to tell you is when you actually send your uniform for dry cleaning, Make sure to inspect your uniform if they iron it correctly. Not all dry cleaning services know how to iron military uniforms, especially our dress blues or dress whites. So ensure that you that they did it correctly and verify if they have creases. That's additional plus right there. And if you don't know how to iron your uniform with a crease, stay tuned. I will show you a video how to iron your uniform with your crease on. All right. The other tip that I want to give you is to ensure that you practice your facing movements. Facing movements is a very basic thing for a military, right? Especially if you're brand new and just got out of boot camp and A school, you're still very good at doing your facing movements. But practice it because, you know, practice makes perfect, right? And study where you need to stop, turn left and turn right. So when you position yourself, you are really good and you're set up. And there's the other thing, study. So if you haven't known it by now, the questions they're going to ask you in the board are all divided in different sections. There's going to be a naval history question, a uniform policy question, current event question, new policy or nav admin policy question, and an opinion tip question. For naval history, it's easy. All you need to do is when you find out the date you're going on board, make sure to Google up naval history and the day you're going on board and you'll find out everything that happens on that day because more than likely they're gonna ask you a question about what happened during that day in naval history. Current event, I want to make sure that you actually know what's going on right now around the world. Mainly focus on everything that involves the Navy. So if it, if it involves the Navy, then make sure to know about it. New nav admin policies. Study the major nav admin policies that came out before that board day. Uniform questions. If you just got out from A school or boot camp, then you might be a little bit familiar still with uniform questions but you need to brush up your uniform um, policies like the very basic stuff like haircut for, for men or the patches or anything that's related to uniform <laughs> that's all I can tell you 
<laughs> just make sure you study them because they might ask you those questions but you don't need to stress yourself up because if you don't know just let them know you don't know right if you want to find a video to help motivate you study for this upcoming board <laughs> please click this video and if you don't know the answer to the question don't stress yourself either you invent your answer or you actually let them know, I apologize chief, I don't know the answer right now, but I will get back to you after this board and get back to them after the board. It's not like they can change their result later on, but it gives them an idea of who you are as a sailor. And finally, they're gonna ask you an opinionative question. So most of the question they're gonna ask you is either if you are the pawn for the day, what would you do? Or if you're going to be the chief naval operation of the Navy, what would you do for one day, you know? Those kind of questions, actually, when you respond to them, is going to reflect who you are and how you treat stress to prepare yourself. Now I told you those two questions, like if you're that McCon or CNO for the Navy, try to practice it. How are you going to be responding to those kind of questions? Or if you're going to implement the new policy, what is it going to be and how is it going to affect the Navy? One thing you need to know that if you ask you to be the CNO or McCon for the day, you just need to know that you're only going to be there for one day. That means you need to be realistic. It's not like you can do a lot of stuff within one day as a CNO or McCall for the Navy. But just let them know what you're planning to do and be comfortable about it, you know? You don't need to be stressed, you know, to be this stutter and just panic all around. You just need to practice it before you go up there. And my final tip is to treat your blue jacket of the quarter or your junior cell of the quarter board as a job interview. Yes, it is like a job interview. And if you haven't been to a job interview before, then treat it as like any other aura board in your school. And the only difference is, maybe in this job interview, you have two to three, maybe five interviewers in front of you. Then if you have five interviewers in front of you, and it's, uh, one of them asks you a question, make sure that to point the answer to not just that one person, but to all of them. So for example, Chief, ask me a question about table history i will answer his question making sure that to scan around the room so they know that i'm not just talking to chief but i'm talking to everybody else and finish it by looking at chief and ending the question all right and if you remember when you were doing your job interview or before you actually go to the aura board right you need to study for that company you need to know that company or you need to know the answer to the question they might ask you because that's how you prepare yourself this board is not different from that then you need to do the same concept and just to recap of what we talk about make sure to prepare your uniform practice your facing movements study and treat your board as any job interview or any oral board exam you've done in the past again if you guys think that this video helps you prepare for the board please don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to see more of these videos in the future please don't forget to hit the subscribe button follow me on facebook gaming i stream every wednesday friday and saturday thank you so much for watching and huya navy